All right, welcome back. And uh, right now we're going to be looking at uh, the causality CA12 Last Chance from Fans Project. Yes, this is the fourth of the Stunticons, or they're not Stunticons, that it's like they released. Now, you saw them earlier with the others in car mode, so, you know, you can check out that other video for that. So, let's get a good look at them. Now, the original, uh, this one here is, um, yeah, so he's last chance and he's, uh, um, supposed to be dead end. The original dead end was a Porsche 928. And it was painted this uh, maroon color when it had this golden silver stripe going on to one side. Now this one here is uh, a Ferrari FFX, which is based on a um, Ferrari Enzo. However, it's got like spoiler, much more powerful, and it was like a racing version of that car. So yeah, it's quite an upgrade for a uh, dead end. Speaking of which, like the others, he does come with a card. Funny thing about the card is that, uh, if you look up close, it looks like he's smiling. Like he's very happy, and it's, which is uh, a little strange. He's supposed to be very depressed, uh, kind of character. But uh, yeah, another cool thing about uh, him is that he has full wheels. Unlike the other guys, all his wheels are full and they all roll. How he like rolls the best out of any of them. So, yeah, there he is. Very sleek mode. But, uh, let's get him in the robot mode. Yeah, so, I'm gonna come under here and unpeg the, uh, pieces that will form the gun. Put them together, and, uh, there's the gun. Put that to the side till now. So, first thing you want to do is, like, snap this part up. Then uh, come over here and pull this part ever so slightly apart. It'll pop out like that. As you can see, there's most of his legs, and this will basically end up being the arm mode. Very, very sleek. Step that over the part. And pop out these little sections, which will form the feet, and then you can just fold these part panels in. That covers them up. Uh, come over here, pull these out, and that'll make his give him vaguely uh, little heels, and so we'll have to let him better support said feet. Yeah, the feet are fully full ball jointed on this one. Now his arms on top are like a super folding accordion accordion mess. Be a little tricky to get back into vehicle mode, but basic thing you want to do is like flip the uh, fist around. Yeah, so come here, pull that out, and there's one arm. Yeah, yeah it can be a little tricky. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I said, pull this around. There you go. Yeah. When for going into robot mode and vehicle mode, it's like you want to flip the fists around because like this little slot here will help it fit there. It's like later on. But yeah. Then once you do that, want to come here and this part can be a little tricky. You want to get his head out of there. Yeah. Be a little tricky getting his head out. Once it's out, though, yeah, there you go. Once the head is fully extended out, you just push this panel in and fold this over, and there you go. There is last chance in his robot mode. Now, this robot mode's pretty sweet. He's got all the awesome articulation that comes like. Uh, same as the others, but here's the interesting thing. Unlike the other would-be Stunticons and the original Dead End, who did not have car parts on his chest, he has, like, pretty much the whole front hood of the, uh, car, it's, like, on his chest. It's kind of a letdown in some ways, but it's kind of grown on me, simply because, uh, 
you still have the stripe, it's like there, and the stripe, it's like on his leg, they're still mad where they were before, it kind of gives the illusion and look of a, like a racing jumpsuit, and I think that's really, really cool. Then, um, like all the other ones, it's like he has his gun, and, you know, you can put it there on his fist, and he's got wrist swivel, double jointed uh, elbows. These panels on top, you can fold them in or out as you wish. It's got waist articulation, but like, this part here doesn't really peg in, so if you move the waist, it will vaguely pop out of it. Then, you know, he folds his leg just as well as the other guys. Ball jointed feet with the, this little heel spur thing. And, yeah, they fold there too. Very, very articulated, like all of them. Now, one cool thing about him is that you can take his gun, and there's this little peg back here. And, you know, you can store the gun right there on his back. Now, technically, uh, another thing is that he doesn't have a backpack like the other characters, like uh, Car Crash and uh, T-Bone. Although, you could still peg the guns on the end of that backpack. In the case of... Um, of downforce, like uh, his gun, it's like I figured you can just uh, sort of plop it there in his leg and so it just stays right there. So that's one way of storing it. But you know, let's get a. Uh, get all his weapons and the, put them back out with the other guys. So here are all the stunt accounts together in their uh, robot modes. I must say, they look very, very nice together. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. yeah. So there they all are. Now, one of the things I did do with the car crash here is that I sanded down a little bit of the notch here so this part here could fold properly. So, something you may want to look into. A lot of people have also been complaining that these guys are short. Well, in the case of a car crash, and uh, to some degree, uh, and uh, T-boat as well, you can fold these sections down and sort of gives them like a little bit of a heel effect. So, something you may want to consider. But yeah, so here are the four stunt accounts at the moment. At the time of this review, it's like the big guy, Motormaster, is still not out. I have no clue how big he's going to be. Be, I just hope he's not too big. Like, if he's in scale with this uh, Dark of the Moon Megatron, it'd be nice. I wouldn't want, like, uh, him to be, like, twice as tall as these guys, so. They should not be twice as tall, but... It's, it's okay, though, if he's bigger than, say, Megatron back there. Nothing wrong with that. So, put these guys in the back. So, we're getting closer, getting closer to the eventual release of the Motor Master. Be it Diesel or M3 or whatever they end up calling him. And when that time comes, we'll be able to form the Intimidator and go head to head with Superion. As well as sneak up and, uh, Totally crush Bruticus. So yeah, here they are all together from a top view in their robot mode. There they are once again with Superion. And remember, if you have this Superion or plan on getting him, make sure you go on a Shapeways and uh, get that little ab filler from um, Process. You know, get the version 4 that gives you articulation and... Um, as well as, like, you can store it on the jet mode. So that's always a plus. And here's the Fans Project Bruticus. This is the Revenge of the Fallen version. They have a new version out that's like, has darker things. Like, the guns are painted darker. And he's also quite awesome. So, yeah. You know, pretty soon we'll have them. You know, thanks for watching. And uh, be sure, uh, you know, to subscribe if you like. Catch you next time. Later. Bye.